everybody. My name is Kelly Fones. I'm an educator here at Montevilla Sewing Centers located in the Portland, Oregon area. Today we are going to be working with the Genome M7 and in this video, we will be covering the technique section of your machine. Now your techniques are something unique to Genomi where they have grouped stitches together to perform specific tasks. So you can just tap on your t-shirt and this accesses all of the built-in techniques. So for instance, there are a whole lot of over edge stitches. If you want to do an over edge stitch on a knit, you can come in here and it's going to set it up for you. So you have different options for that over edge and it, for each of those stitches, it's going to recommend a different foot. So for instance, on stitch number one, you would be using your M foot or your overcast foot. It's going to set up your default width and length and you can of course come into editing and customize it. You will notice on this particular stitch that you cannot adjust the stitch width. So sometimes you will find ones that you cannot edit. You have other options, primarily in this section it's for regular sewing and a lot of garment sewing options, such as buttonholes, buttons, and gathering. Your middle section is all based, it's focused on quilting. So if you come into patchwork piecing, this is where you're going to find your quarter inch stitches already set up for you. Now with this, you would be using your O foot, which is your quarter inch foot that came with the machine. You can opt to not secure your stitch. You can do a back stitch at the beginning and the end. You can also do this locking stitch, which just uh, ties a little knot to secure your stitch. If you go to page two, you will find your seven millimeter stitches. And remember, anytime you want additional information, be sure to use your AccuSpark app and scan your QR code in the bottom right hand corner. If you come into free motion, this is the best way to set up free motion on this machine. This you would use your regular free motion foot, either open toe or closed toe. This one you would use zigzag again, you could use your free motion foot for that as well. If you will notice where you're doing a straight stitch in free motion, on this machine you have a unique feature. You can opt to have your feed dogs included in your process. Now this works a little differently than having your feed dogs up all the time. This gives you a little assist on controlling your fabric. So I would encourage you to try it both with your feed dogs up as well as down and see which way you prefer. It really depends on the task. You also have options for your other free motion feet. In an upcoming video, we will be focusing just on free motion options on this machine, so I will be covering this more thoroughly. You have ruler work sections. Sasha Co is a really neat section where this makes it look more like a hand look, like you've hand quilted something. So these are terrific to explore. I love going into this area because it's a shortcut for me. These are specialty techniques that you need specialized feet for, such as a ruffler foot. And you can use this section to help you set up that ruffler foot, which can be a little bit tricky, so I do like that section. Your ultra glide. It sets up different stitches and see it's telling you to use your U foot or your ultra glide foot. So that's how you use the technique section of the machine. Be sure to look in there when you start doing something. For me, especially garment sewing because that's not something I do as often. 
I have a lot of buttonholes on this machine. I need all the help I can get to figure out which one to use. And there are good reasons to use one over another. So my general approach is to look, pick the one that looks the nicest. That's not always the best option. So go ahead and try your technique section, explore it, see what's in there. Future videos, we will be going over some of those areas in a little more depth. Thanks for watching.